Afternoon folks, only me, Sean from Happy Days Veg. This is uh, a little explanation video uh, and an update of what I've been doing since I've moved into my new little uh, small holding up in North Wales. Now I did put some videos on YouTube initially, but uh, I started the videos when I hadn't even actually moved. I was doing some things in preparation and all the rest of it. So, first of all, I'd like to apologise to everybody out there who's watching that I haven't put no videos on YouTube for such a long time. I moved into this house uh, on the 5th of March this year, 2019. And it is now, as I stand today, it is Friday the 8th of November. But I've had such a lot of jobs to do in and out the house and around here, there and everywhere. Uh, that's got nothing to do with vegetable growing. Uh, that those jobs had to take precedence over uh, anything else. But let's get back onto the, the point of this video. This is a new video that I'm doing today on my phone. I'm doing no edit editing, yeah? I just make the videos, play it back to myself once so I can listen to it, make sure that everything's okay and I haven't put any swear words or bad words in there. Uh, so basically, uh, just short, I'm gonna do start doing some more short videos uh, to explain what I've been doing and what I'm up to here in what what is a beautiful day in uh, North Wales. So, as you know by now, my name's Sean. Yeah, and what I'm trying to do is become as much self-sufficient as I can in the uh, food department. Yeah, so all the vegetables and soft fruits. Uh, I'm, I'm the, the plan is over the next couple of years when I get set up, so everything's running smoothly and I have a nice steady supply of vegetables, soft fruits. You know everything you need. Only the basics, though. Yeah, I'm not going to go to crazy i'm going to be growing very little of things i'm not going to use i'm so but i'm going to do some experiments uh but i want to grow the staples that me and adele eat on a on a very regular basis so here i am standing in one of my little fields yeah so as you can see behind me i've built sorry about the quality of the video i've built myself a big polytunnel yeah, let me walk up here. Yeah, can you see? Oof. Where are we going? Let's get back up here. Look, still not in shots. Where is it? So as you can see, behind me, it's it's nearly fifty feet long, and it's twenty. I think it's twenty-seven feet wide or twenty-four feet wide. I can't remember. I bought that polytunnel frame off a chap in Stratford in Manchester. Yep. And it was nothing but a nightmare to put up because the ground is sloping. Now, I'm not going to go over that too much because I've got other videos that I've put on my Facebook page that I'm going to upload onto my YouTube page so everybody can see what I've been up to. So, that's that. Also here, you can see all these bricks. And what I've been doing is I decided I want to go down the no dig route of vegetable gardening. And I decided on, I wanted to have some proper, heavy duty, long lasting raised vegetable beds. So what I've been doing, gotta be careful where I'm walking because I'll, I'll trip up and I'll break my neck. So, I don't know whether you can see. Hang on, let me look. Right, down here, I've dug roughly, roughly 12 foot long and about five foot wide. I've dug out a big square ditch and put in a little concrete footing to have my raised bed built out of these six inch hollow concrete blocks. So I'm gonna build the bed. I'm gonna line the inside the brickwork with polythene and then fill it up of spent compost, the soil that I've dug out, uh, plenty of horse manure 
and all the rest of it. And the plan is, I want to get these, th I'm having more than, than three, but I want to get these three done this year, yeah, uh, so I can get them filled and then I can cover them, cover them over and let them bed themselves in uh, over the winter, ready for growing next year. But while all that's going on, I still want to be digging out some other ones because I'm going to have quite a few. Now, as I say, oh, sorry. As I say, this video is just a in quick introduction and a quick update on what I've been doing. I'm going to put on YouTube, Happy Days Veg, uh, videos that I've already done throughout the year of me doing this polytunnel because there's a few people I want to uh, give a shout out to. Tony C. Smith, who is in the process, he's just took his polytunnel down after 15 years, uh, is, uh, is going to build himself a new polytunnel. Uh, Tony O'Neill at UK Here We Grow. Uh, he won't mind me saying, but I've, I've borrowed a load of his ideas and thought patterns and trial of thoughts. Uh, so these people, you know, I don't know nothing about growing vegetables. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm following a few people, uh, Hugh Richards as well. Uh, but, you know, there's a few I follow uh, and, you know, I'm taking all their advice. So, so yeah. Go and have a look at their pages. That's uh, Tony C. Smith and Hugh Richards and uh, Tony O'Neill at UK Here We Grow. So, yeah, it's this is, as I say, this is just an update. So I've got my polytunnel down here. You can see I'm having my raised beds. Down there somewhere over my shoulder is my compost area. Now, I'm lucky. I'm lucky because... I've got plenty of space to do whatever I want and I've got free rain, yep. Don't have to ask anybody, don't have to worry about anything. I'm, I'm not on a, oh, let's get in the shade. I'm not uh, on an allotment plot, so I haven't got any committees to, to worry about. Uh, no rules and regulations. If I want chickens, if I want pigs, have what I like. I'm a registered small holding now. So, uh, so it's all good. I've got a, a farmer next door who I'll go to for advice and information. Uh, and I've got a lot of his sheep on my land. So yeah, oh, you're walking past, look. Where are we? Sorry for the quality of the video. I've got two 1,000 litre IBC containers there collecting rainwater off the top of my uh, shed. Uh, this shed, by the way, it's called the Shed of Dreams. Because uh, when I think of an idea, I go in the shed and that's where I create it all. Let me get back in the shed. Let me try and get a nice... So it's not too bad. It's a beautiful day. So, yeah. So, as I say, this video is just an explanation of A, where I've been, B, what I'm up to, uh, and C, uh, what I'm going to be getting up to in the future. So, I'm going to upload this video onto YouTube on ha Happy Days Veg tonight, today, uh, later tonight. Friday the 8th of November, yep. But I've also got a Facebook page if you want to follow me on there. It'll have all the same stuff and a, a load of other ramblings on. Uh, but as I say, I'm going to upload videos that I've already put on Facebook throughout this summer that I'm going to load up onto YouTube so you can see what I've been getting up to. And then that way, you know, we're all singing from the same hymn sheet. Uh, so that's it now, because this, this video's uh, nine minutes long and I don't want my videos to to drag out because I don't you know uh, I don't want people to get bored so all I'm going to say is sorry they haven't been around so much but I'm back there's a lot going on it's all exciting uh, and we'll chat further down the line yep yeah? uh, it's not just all about growing veg it's about quality of life it's about mental well-being and physical well-being and tasty organic homegrown veg that's got zero air miles on okay so as i say this is sean from happy days veg wishing you all a great weekend and i will see you guys soon until then take care and be good happy days <laughs>